Our next guest is going to talk to us about sustainable products made from bamboo. David Ward is with us, the CEO of the Nurturing Company. David, you were so kind to send us a, a swag, a couple of swag, not bags, but swag boxes of your products, which we are holding up. You are our favorite kind of guest. How are you doing? Well, it, it's, a, it's a pleasure. <laughs> and, and, and it's entertaining <laughs> listening to you both talk about the Oscars. Yes, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting weekend on that. Hey, hey does the Nurturing David, Company have anything in the, in the Hollywood uh, Oscar yeah, swag bags? We're, we're just about to launch Bamboo Lou in the United States. I think it'll go live around about the 15th of April. So uh, it's been a oh. long road in with... Uh, um, delays in production and, and just basically COVID and, and your freight and all that kind of global issues have slowed our, uh, slowed, our, slowed our pace down a little bit, but finally it will go live around the 15th. So maybe next year we can give well, them something uh, worthy. We'll next get stuck into it. I love your initiative, Bambaloo. We'll talk about it in some detail. I've got the, uh, the gift pack here. Just one issue, David. No yep. title deeds for land in Scotland. Oh, you <laughs> know what? <laughs> <laughs> thought we, we, thought we, we thought we might give you a, a bamboo plant somewhere instead. Um, <laughs> um, I know that sounds a bit sort of like, you know, uh, um, I, I, I've heard of that company, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what they do, but it, it obviously yeah. doesn't kind of fit with what we do. But we so will those... be doing a program where we will be working with a company called Eco Bamboo, uh, mm. a worldwide initiative for planting bamboo. So I oh, think nice. that'll start maybe second half this year, we're, we're just working it through with, uh, them and then the uh, uh, carbon aggregating company and monitoring company called Handprint. And we're mm. trying to figure out how we can get this three-way thing of going where, you know, we'll be planting something on, on your behalf as a customer because uh, Bamboo is already nice. carbon positive anyway. And then, then you'll be able to add something to that also. Yeah, we're talking with David Ward, the CEO of The Nurturing Company. Uh, their, uh, their products, Bambaloo, uh, a sustainable, uh, sustain, sustainable products made from bamboo. Now, David, sort of, you, you've been, you were on Money FM, I believe, a year or a year and a half ago or so. A year and a half ago, yes. Yeah. yeah. Tell oh, us, boy. first of all, tell us just a little bit about the story of Bambaloo. Mm -hmm. You're a Singapore sustainable startup. Yes. Um, and, and tell us where you're at right now. Where, how have you grown in this past year and a half, two so, years? So where are you at? It, it's, it's clearly been a challenging period. And, and for anyone that's that made toilet roll uh, that that crazy weekend in, in I think it was March uh, 2020, mm. uh, basically you know to use the pun wiped us out. We we sold <laughs> about four months worth of product in about 16 hours once everyone went oh my crazy to board toilet roll, and um, which was great. But it also created another problem that the factories were all closed because of COVID, and we had to pivot. So right. a lot of the products you've just shared with uh, uh, everybody there on the camera came out of us needing to pivot towards what other things we could do that we had in our plan that we had to accelerate and bring forward. So things like the white program that we did, we put together in literally about four weeks with uh, you know, manufacturing partners that I've been working with for some years. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's not not my first rodeo in this space. This is the second business I've launched in this space here. I launched the first ever uh, sustainable bamboo brand here in Singapore eight years ago. But back in those days, nobody was interested. I couldn't, I couldn't raise any money. Normal story, you know, fresh off the boat. You know, back in those days, people just went, you know, you can make paper out of bamboo. It was like a really big revelation. Um, mm. But we managed to get that business off the ground, but it ended up being, you know, owned by somebody else. Um, but nonetheless, it, it's grown and it's available in the United States and here. Um, mm. And I just, through that experience, started seeing more and more of the problem being about the plastic and plastic waste. Um, and, you know, that was seven years ago when it wasn't really appearing on everybody's uh, radar. It wasn't on your, your feed every day, if you like, mm. on social media. So, um, and I was trying to hold conversations with people and people going, no, 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 people, people don't want to change. That's, that's you know, we, we can't do that. It's, you know, because I wanted to, like, get rid of plastic straight away. It's like mm. a pure view, really. But so I decided to step away from the original brand and, and created the nurturing company with the, with the goal, literally, of one single sheet of paper started everything with the um, title of you know how to reduce or remove one-time use plastics from our society and the environment and that was really the overarching uh, view that we had that every product that we were going to build had to fill a purpose had yeah. to be as good if not better than the one that you were currently using it had to be less impacting and more sustainable and it had to drastically reduce or completely remove, if possible, 
all of the one-time use plastics. Mm. And, and of course, wow. in, in recent months, we've now started to see a lot of the sort of things that we've been, you know, dr drum banging about for a while, you know, carbon reduction, you know, bamboo uses considerably less carbon in production than wood pulp tissue paper does. You know, you're not going to find those details on your famous brand of toilet roll. They're not going to tell you that they're, you know, utilizing um, deforestation. They're, you know, aiding and abetting you know, deforestation. It's, you know, using two grams of carbon per sheet to produce Wow. And it and it will need 140 liters of water to produce. Yeah, rolling. the water is a big one. Well, let know. me just jump in there, David, because you literally put your money where your mouth is. I'm reading the stats here. With bamboo's 36 rolls, you save an equivalent of 9.9 .9 square meters of plastic. Extraordinary. 1,237 gallons of water and 10. 1380 grams of carbon yeah. just if you use 36 rolls and I, look you're singing to the choir with me i think it's an absolutely fantastic initiative david i really do but i'm always Thanks. interested in the eureka moment the epiphany when what was that moment well, what, what was yeah, that moment that where was, you sat uh, up one day and went i have to do something you know what it kind of was like that i was um i was this is an absolutely true story i've told it a few times but it's totally true um i was working in the fashion industry and I've been in the fashion industry for a very long time. It's very good to me. I've worked with great people. I've done a lot of money, some great houses, wonderful cars, all the normal stuff that one might think is what you should be attaining in life. Um, and I was going um, into Asia. I was still based over in Europe at that stage. Um, and I've been traveling in and out of Asia. And I was in Japan and I was in Tokyo. And it's a Friday or a Thursday evening. And I'm wandering it through uh, Harajuku. And I find this tiny little hole in the wall bar. I can't tell you exactly where it is. But if I was there, I could probably find it again if it still existed. <laughs> and and I walk in, and there's only one other guy in the in there who's uh, uh, not Japanese. And um, so obviously we kind of gravitate and start talking. And and Albert is his name. And Albert's uh, uh, family run a cleaning company in Vancouver, and they also do a sustainable products brand. Like if my shout out, it's called Kabo. It's not available here in Asia, but it is available in America. And and we just get into a conversation about you know, well, why don't you try and help us find somebody in Asia? because I was doing um, brand licensing at that stage as part of my business. And um, so I came back and started looking. Of course, there wasn't anything around. This was eight years ago. Um, and, you know, did the market study, did some more in-depth with, you know, uh, World Bamboo Organization, got in contact with some factories, realized actually we could make this stuff. And it was actually really much better for the environment. And, you know, why did that drive me? You know, my father's a gypsy, like a proper Romany gypsy born in a horse-drawn caravan hmm. in Ireland. So I grew up in a household where you saved water. We didn't have a garden. We had a vegetable plot. You know, you turned your lights off. You reused everything you possibly could. It was just instinctive growing up in that world that, to not be very materialistic and to be always thinking about the environment. So... I kind of woke up, I, th I always put it as like September 2012, I think it was, um, or, or 13. I'd, I'd been in Singapore maybe about four months. Um, and I'd come off the back of this trip, met Albert, and, and was looking at, and thought, you know what, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to create a brand that, that can fill this gap because, you know, I just can't. Now I'm aware that, A, these problems exist, B, that we can actually make it to fit the bill and, and actually I think we can do it quite competitively and, and mm. at a quality level which would be acceptable you know at that stage and it was it was a Saturday morning epiphany really I woke up that morning and said right I'm going to do it if I don't do it I know I'll regret it nice David uh, we're speaking with David Ward the CEO of the nurturing company his products Bambaloo uh, all kinds of products made from bamboo uh, tissues toilet paper uh, kitchen rolls wipes uh, uh, mask. I got to say this mask that you sent us is, uh, I was wearing it this morning when I left my house and it is, uh, I, I probably the most comfortable mask I've had in the past two years. Um, uh, but my bigger question to you is, look, you know, we know that when we get to some of these bespoke, uh, environmentally good and, and sustainable products that often comes at a price. So somebody is going to end up paying more for this role than they would if they buy their usual, you know, 36 pack. Tell us about the pricing strategy, yeah. the pricing factor. Everybody wants to do the right thing. And yet when we actually yeah. get to the store 
and something is X and something is X more, yep. we often, let's be honest, default to yeah, the less it's, expensive it's, product. It's, it's, and David, it's, before, it's, you that, uh, before you answer that, it ties in with a question from a reader. How much more cost effective is bamboo compared with recycled plastic? So straight away, the question is cost. Um, yeah. Recycled plastic? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're talking about packaging. Maybe. Must be. Could be. Plastic. Um, well, look, there's, there's the two things. First of all, recycled plastic doesn't really exist. There's only 9% of global plastic ever gets recycled. And of that, probably less than 2% actually finds itself back into the same product that was already <laughs> derived from originally. Wow. Not, That's an astonishingly thing. depressing figure, David. Right. <laughs> yeah. it's a horse, excuse my language. It is yeah, yeah. a broken model that we've been you know, sold time and time again, and it doesn't work. And, and it, aside from that, the use of plastic in, in one-time use level um, mm. from a big petro, big plastic is accelerating mm. because they have less cars to put fuel in. So mm. they have well, their products. So they're accelerating their plastic development programs to encourage the plastic industry to use more plastic. But mm. we have no way of ever dealing with the problem we already have with the current model and for all of the closed loop, you know, close the loop on plastic, all of these things are just trying to regurgitate something yeah. which doesn't work. So, mm. well, let's get back to the pricing, the pricing on your stuff. Um, so, how, how, does so it, how does it compare? Pricing, pricing compares, you know, if you're going to go into a store and pick up one of our grab bags, those bags you have, those run at around about $7 for eight rolls. So it compares to the other bamboo brands that you will find in the store, it'll be about a dollar more expensive than your regular toilet roll you know your roll. Plastic, your a dollar roll. more but if you go to our website or you go to red mart or amazon and you buy the 36 roll we do which is you know you get 36 rolls in a box um as as uh, neil mentioned and um, that then equates to pretty much the exact same cost now we're that right to, i'm gonna do yeah, it yeah, i'm well, gonna do it so we we've you know we started out with a company about making a margin i will share something with you and with everybody else right um, our wipes are a fantastic product, really fantastic product. And it should be a lot more expensive if we stack it up against the competition because it's a water wipe. It's not a, it's not a plastic based. It's not a, uh, a regular formula. It's a water wipe formula. Normally these run around about $6 for 40 to 60 wipes. So we have 160 and this retails for about $17. We took the view that we can make a good operational margin on it we don't have to charge more just because the market can you know is pushing people to have to pay more it's not yeah. actually the right thing to do if you're going to get people to change so yeah being at a retail level it is a bit more expensive we have to deliver it it's in a smaller packet it's got to go on a shelf the staff have got to pay you know, uh, you know retailers have you know physical costs etc mm -hmm. but when we can deliver it out to you in a box and you can keep it at home then then you know we aggregate the you know the unit price you know the unit price is less to us so about a one cent less for us to purchase the product in the first place but by the time it reaches you as a consumer it's it's cost effective against your regular you know other wood pulp brands that you would see out there I mean, yeah so so then you see the uh the, the savings if you order online like you said from from any of the the main dealers yes. or or do they have to order from from the nurture no, no, they, they can, we have the, the most cost effective ways to do it on subscription through our website we call it the uh, uh and plan save and repeat model which is you know you can plan your product you can order it you can repeat it you can repeat it once a month once a week once a year Mm. You know, um, but then you save 20%. And, and the, the ideology here was that we can kind of cut out the middleman. You know, on average, if we're working with a retailer, we're giving them, you know, 25, 30% of us, uh, 30% as a margin, as an operational margin, of course, for all the things we just talked about. So during COVID, we introduced this program really to put that money back into consumers' pockets. Mm. So, you know, buy it directly nice. from us. We've still got to ship it, so you know it's not thirty percent; it's twenty percent because we've still got to get it to you, uh, etc. Um, but but it, it's it's about cutting out the middleman, really. Uh, on that, David, product. just to uh, jump in there, we've got a few comments coming in. You've touched on yeah. some of them. One asks, "What other products do you have or planning to have?" And the other one, you've kind of answered, "Where is it available?" I'm guessing the best place is to subscribe to your website, uh, and that'll be the cheapest, most cost-effective way. But what other products do you have or, or planning to have? 
So the ones that you may not see on screen there, so we do we do mini jumbo rolls, we do hand towels for you know, commercial use. We've got a new cube tissue coming in as to go with the, uh, the regular uh, rectangle tissue that you see there. We've got a brand new world first product arriving at the end of this month, which is our new plus ply product, which is a very, uh, um, you know, gives the uh, impact and performance of a three ply, but in a two ply model. And this becomes even more cost effective for the consumer comes in a slightly bigger role as well. It comes in a 330 sheet, so it's a kind of slightly lasts a bit longer. We have, you know, plastic free plasters waiting called BAM aids. We've got diapers waiting. We've got sanitary pads, you know, and, and personal hygiene and sport wipes and tech wipes all kind of in the pipeline. Um, and then we have our, our version of a squatty potty, which is called the stool. <laughs> which is, is uh, very, you know uh, very popular here in asia that kind of you know the, the, the stool that, that you would use to uh go to the toilet yeah. but it's not particularly very well known in the western world but uh yeah. we've uh, worked with a partner to develop a you know collapsible bamboo version of this and i know that you had one of these big industrial size toilet rolls that you know you fit in the in right. the bathroom and i, I didn't bring it in because I, I couldn't yes, carry I everything in from my house the study that you had sent yeah. to me uh, but it's a big, so you're going for the industrial uh, yeah, they, sales I mean, we, as well. Look, what we've seen, we already have, uh, you know, some good work going on that. We developed that product with Razor Computers, who are one of our um, strategic investors. So they were the, we worked with those through. We've actually been in a long process with the good people at Chengi Airport um, to look at the possibility of um, them moving across from, you know, wood pulp to, to bamboo. Wow. Loo, to That'd be, be huge, impact. huh? Yeah, I'm, man, I'm telling you, the, the numbers, I mean, I'm, you know, let's see if it all comes together, but the numbers are absolutely staggeringly high in terms yeah. of the impact they could make um, by changing because they use, obviously, with a full capacity. It is a, a crazy number of pieces mm. of paper, whether it's tissue or, or hand towel mm. or whatever they use there. And so, so yeah, we've do, we have a, we've always have a constant pipeline. I'm always tinkering with some idea but it always based on the philosophy, can we produce something in this space which can utilize bamboo that can be as good, if not better, be less impacting and more sustainable, and then yeah. obviously much better and healthier for the customer. One of the larger benefits that most people don't see initially when they start using uh, bamboo loo is that you know bamboo tissue paper is actually naturally hypoallergenic and antibacterial and antimicrobial. So it's hmm. actually much, much better for your skin to use yeah. it. it doesn't have all the trace chemicals and, el and elements that wood pulp does too interesting david we do have to leave it there but uh, yeah. thanks for coming on today david ward the ceo of the nurturing company the products are called bambaloo uh, you can get them online uh if people buy them in the stores which stores in singapore have them and um, cold storage uh, scoop yep. unpacked um, and then you'll find us on lazada shopee uh red marts amazon and obviously our own website, which is uh, uh, lovebambooloo.com. And, Love and you know, any of those questions that you want to just fire in an email, um, and then I'll, I'll answer back to you guys, then you can pass it through to the listeners. By, by, I'm happy to well, do David, so. Well, David, we do have a few questions on our Facebook page. If you can yeah. pop in, uh, Facebook we'll page, MoneyFM89.3. And I'll, yeah, I'll and go, put the I'll links into where they now. can buy them. Yeah, All right. good. David okay, Ward, guys, thanks so much for being with us. Yep. All right, bye-bye.